This is Gundam Ares, the playful ram. Piloted by Ares, she used bright colors for her Gundam to bring out her playfulness. Despite the less serious look of the Gundam, Ares' skills make it pack a huge punch, thus claiming the first zodiacal court and the title of the strongest constellation. Strangely enough, even with all her strength, she couldn't resolve her rivalry with Sagittarius as all their matches end up in draws. Gundam Ares is equipped with a Sheraton rifle, Resarthum shield, neutralizer ram wires, and two regular beam swords as standard. The Sheraton rifle is Ares' range weapon of choice, as she is decent at long ranges thanks to observing Sagittarius. It is a long rifle for mid to long range combat, with power to sever any Gundam's joints, but it cannot punch through any high fortification like shields, energy barriers, or absurdly tough armor. When in need, it can transform into a large sword for close combat, but it runs out of energy extremely quickly before having to plug that onto the arm to recharge. The Mesothem Shield is an elementally fortified shield with the Ares logo. It functions as a normal shield, or otherwise the central generator can generate a defensive layer that will make Ares block all damage when the layer is active. However, the layer can only block 5 attacks. Moreover, the layer doesn't care what amount of damage has been dealt onto it. No matter a simple sword slash to a direct hit from a cannon, it would only deplete one layer. After the layers are all depleted, the shield would take energy from the Gundam's reactor and recharge before the layers could be used again. The neutralizer ram wires are derived from Gundam Ares' astral burst effect and was developed during the first astral conflict. They are energy wires that will restrain enemies while also disabling all their power-up moves, for example, Horologium's time manipulation. Even though they are strong enough to restrain even a brawn, they can and only will be snapped by a single sword slash or a gun blast. The regular beam swords are standard beam swords that use fire elemental energy for the blades. By using extremely hot fire, it turns the blades into a light blue and can easily slash through enemies. Ares' default form features a transformation into the bale mode. She named it so due to the compact silhouette looking like a bale of dyed wool. This mode increases Ares' flight speed, thus making it easier for long range transport or evading enemy attacks. After the first thousand losses against Taurus to claim the first zodiacal court, Ares constructed the Hamal equipment, which has Agni missile launchers and the Chandrahas railguns. While it removes the bail mode, it allows Ares to go between an array of firearms, which eventually succeeded in letting her take the top spot. The Agni missile launchers launch missiles of celestial fire, which will make enemies burn under temperatures as high as the core of the sun. If the explosion didn't take the enemy down, the scorching heat will do so eventually. The Chandrahas are named after the Chandrahasa sword from Hindu mythology, and it is as its name states, virtually indestructible yet destructive. The bullets loaded into the Chandrahas are constructed with the toughest material in the universe, so they won't be blunted easily. Thus, Ares can retrieve the bullets after a strafe and reload the railguns. The bullets are capable of destroying absolutely anything. Even Taurus's fortified armor doesn't stand a chance. The railguns themselves are made out of the same material which the bullets were made of, and are fired by directly drawing energy from the Gundam's reactor and fire elemental cell. However, since it takes an astronomical amount of energy to fire the weapon, not even the tough material that the gun is made of can withstand too many shots, and will be damaged to the point of disrepair if fired too much. Ares' astral burst effect is called Ram Blast, or Radiate Amp Moratorium Blast. The system will mark at most 5 enemies to be affected by the blast while it charges up. Upon release of the charge, the astral burst system will release pulses periodically to temporarily jam the enemy's amplification systems and remove effects brought about by said amplifications, while most importantly disabling any non-physical attacks of enemies. However, the system cannot distinguish between real and fake enemies, which may put Ares in predicaments more often than not. Ares is a charismatic, positive, but boastful constellation. While she indeed is the strongest constellation in duels, 
she will automatically assume that she's the strongest in all situations. However, one thing is for sure. Only challenge her if you have a way to reduce her to her beam swords, or else you're waving goodbye to victory before the fight even begins.